right. It was uh, Mike. Remind me of your last name again. Kimball. Kimball. And we're doing a uh, we're doing seven laps in the uh, Ferrari F430 Scuderia. And you are here with BC as your instructor. Uh, just got out of the Porsche Turbo, right? Yep. What'd you think? That was great. Yeah, it's that a good car. Smooth, responsive. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, very smooth car. Um, coming into this car, you know, it's definitely the closest thing we have here to a race car, so it's it's very direct. Um, it's very responsive. Any little movement you make, the car's the car's going to make a directional change. Um, the biggest thing with this car, it's very, very rewarding to drive, and it's easily probably, like I said, it's one of my favorite cars here. But you, you do need to be smooth with it. You know, you can't you can't yank it around because of how direct it is. Um, balance it with your feet. You got to drive it just as much with your feet as you do with your hands. By what I mean by balancing is braking to apply weight to the front, and then when you get on the throttle, you apply weight to the rear. So you have to kind of keep that in mind because if you start accelerating a little too soon, you're going to end up starting to lose a little bit of front end grip, and the car will start to understeer or want to bite you through the corners. So, okay. so uh, just play with that balance nice and smooth as you go through the corners and it like I said it's very very rewarding to drive so cool. uh, paddle shifters are not connected to the steering wheel okay. uh, which is fine because we only shift in a straight line anyways right. and I'll let you know when to upshift and downshift sound good awesome ready to go yeah all right Mike put on brake and upshift to first gear for me let's go ahead and get rolling you may have to straighten the wheel out as you get rolling ahead and we're gonna go back to the left once we're out from underneath the tent When we're in the pitch, you can do whatever you need to do with your hands. Okay. Just slightly past the wall, kind of pointing out the green cone for me. To roll forward just a hair more. Okay, we are clear to go. Continue out. Oh, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. He was hiding behind the wall there. I don't know. He was trying to exit or whatever. Now we're good to go. Sorry about that. Up shift. Shift once. Good. Ease off the brake and carry the speed into the corner. Turn tight to your apex. Now squeeze the throttle in. Full throttle. Light brake. Turn in. Accelerate through. Okay. You don't need a downshift there. We're going to let a car go by. There you go. Steering tight. Accelerate out. Accelerate just a little bit. Roll 
back in between the white cones on the left side, okay? Right, get it. Sorry if you can hear me, I'm talking as loud as I can talk. I know. This thing's a little loud. Yeah, it is. The black one's even louder too, <laughs> so. You almost need like microphones in here. Yeah, I, I've been asking them for them in here for years now, so. How'd you like the car that overall was, though? That was great. Yeah? It's a little bit different than the Porsche, isn't it? A little bit. Yeah. You did a good job, man. Sorry about the confusion with those cars parked there, but hey, let me go up through the middle here. Trying to make sure everything was sorted out and cool before we went by them, you know, so. Right, right. All right, we're gonna park uh, just beyond the uh, the silver or white Super Legere. I don't know what to call that, call, that color, metallic white. <laughs> right here in this next spot to the right. All right, wow, that was great. go ahead and stop here. We'll pull both paddles at the same time. Turn the wheel all the way to the left for me. Great job, man. I hope you had a good time. Sorry about the volume in here. We'll leave it running for a moment, actually.